Hi, good morning. Welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Francois Spies. I'm a product manager on Google Images. So I want to start a little bit uh, different than the other presentations, give you a quick overview of the actual product. There's some slight nuances to Google Images versus Web Search that will then lead into the product changes that we've made recently, and then talk a bit about sort of optimizing your page within that context. So virtually, our users come to Image Search not just to find an image. Um, they actually come to get things done in the real world, and it's just a way for the brain to faster process the information when they're doing a search. Um, so not exactly sure what they want, Images scrolling, so the infinite scroll, is a very good way to find something. So users come for many different use cases, so shopping or to redesign a bedroom, um, inspiration, to get some work done. So there's lots of different use cases. And we've already changed the product to reflect these use cases. So I'll take an example. Someone's looking for a kid's tire swing. What you see on the right there is what the product looked like about two years ago. It was just images. There wasn't a lot of context. Um, and so if you want to try and get something done, we're just giving you a bunch of images. It's hard for the user to navigate. So what we did was we had a couple of changes to the product. Firstly, we added sort of text snippets in the domain below the images. So let's say that now I want to buy a kid's tire swing. I want to make one. Maybe I want an image of one. Maybe um, I just want to see how to use one. Um, there's all these different ways. And it's much easier for the user to navigate. In the back end, what we also did was we changed from ranking not just the images, so like, okay, these are the most relevant, beautiful images for the user, but like really, what are the best landing pages given what they want to do? So we're fundamentally changing the way that we rank the results and um, to help users really find the great content behind the image. It's not about the pixels, but it's about the, what's the page behind that. Um, we've introduced structured metadata, so products, recipes, videos. Um, so if you click through to the viewer, what we call the images viewer, the second click, um, we will then surface that information to the user. And so in general, it's like much easier for the user to get things done. So there's some product changes in line with that that we made in the last three or four months. I'll just walk through in case anyone was curious why we did that. Um, so firstly, on the desktop, we, we hadn't really redesigned it in about five years. And we introduced a couple of new things. Firstly, we moved the viewer to the side panel. It used to be when you clicked on an image, the, the, the image sort of took over the whole of the screen. And so the focus of the user was really on the image and the pixels. Um, we've moved it to the side. So what did that allow us to do? It moves much more clear context for the user. It's not just about the image, but it's about the content that's behind it. You know, we're also surfacing the metadata um, and all the published information now for the user. And so this we've seen is much easier for users to get things done and you know, they're clicking through more to, to the publisher sites. Similarly to the mobile viewer, we've also modernized that. We made some aesthetic changes that just made it more clear. Okay, here's the image, here is the website where it appears, here's the context where it appears, and we've made a more prominent visit button. Again, it's just sort of helping our users to indicate to them, you're trying to get something done, there's a great page behind this image. Um, here's all the ways that you can go there. And again, we've seen a, 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 a significant increase in interactions with uh, pages downstream from the image. Um, and then recently for AMP pages, we call swipe to visit, which is if your page is AMP, um, there's now a much lower friction uh, method for users to actually get to the web page. So there's a little bar, a tray bar at the bottom. Um, you can swipe up uh, and very, very easily go to the web page. And that way, you know, the user can go back um, and so this has seen an increase in people going to this and seeing those web pages, as well as um, we've seen a slight increase in AMP adoption um, for this feature. So that was a very quick breeze through some of the product changes. Uh, let me just get to some of the optimization best practices. Um, I just have sort of three here. Um, firstly, yes, we do support structured data. Um, today, specifically reps, recipes, videos, and products. Um, each of our viewers will have a slightly different treatment based on this, so this is a second click experience. Um, and um, it's really great for users to be able to, to understand what's the great um, content behind the image on the web page. So we support them for those three categories today. So in general, it's good to use descriptive titles and sort of captions and file names um, to give us a bit more context. Okay, what is this image actually about? We use some of the information, such as you know, the, the, the descriptions and titles that we surface to the users. Um, and and you know, we've made all these changes where the user is much more clear to them. There's, these are the pixels, but this is the context with which it appears. Um, this is the page title. And so you know, we can tell you that users are coming to use image search, not to find images, but to find web pages. So if you're, you can help them by optimizing through these, these different means. And so that really helped us to surface the right image for the right query um, for the users. And then the last thing is just to use you know, high quality images. 
Um, we want to show our users not just the relevant images, but also beautiful inspirational content. Um, and so using that next to text, you know, not just an image by itself, but like within that context, really trying to help the user to get things done. Um, and then, you know, as a standard practice, use all mobile friendly pages, all of that will, will lead to, to better results. And so lastly, uh, I'm sure you all know this, but just to reiterate, uh, in Search Console, you're able to check what traffic you're receiving from ImageShare specifically. Um, there's a way for you to filter that and to be able to see the sort of standard metrics you see on web search. Um, so um, if you aren't doing that today, or you're not optimizing your pages for image search, uh, I encourage you to do so. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.